Hey, Mel, you're, whoa, you're breathing kind of heavy there, dog. I said you're breathing kind of heavy. Okay, you know what? Forget it. The reason why I'm calling is because I'm finding it very annoying and a little bit disturbing that I have to keep reminding you I can't hook you up with my sister, okay? She's already got a boyfriend, so I can't help you with that, dude. I need a woman! Whoa, whoa, okay, I understand you need a woman, but you need to watch your tone, son. We're gonna have some problems. What? I said you need... You know what? I'm getting sick and tired of having to keep calling you, Mel. You know what? Edge of Darkness suck balls. Taken was way better. I need energy to drive well, over. You have energy to drive over here? I dare you to drive over here, son. We're gonna have some problems. Don't you dare hang up on me. Don't hang up. I'm gonna hang up. I'm you gonna hang up. Coming over there. You're gonna drive over here? I dare you. You know what? Okay, I dare you. I'm, I'll be waiting outside, son. Let's do this. Curious Corduroy here. I find it kind of odd that I refer to myself as Curious Corduroy in every single video. I have a real name. But uh, today I have a phone review for you guys, and that is the Motorola Droid X. I don't know what was up with that voice. Uh, this is going to be a quick little review, just talk about the way the phone looks, some of the key features. But without further ado, let's get started with the outside of the phone. I use my hands a lot. I am sorry. 4.3 inch touchscreen. Beautiful, large touchscreen. A lot of real estate for watching YouTube videos or browsing the internet. And uh, you have your four basic keys, all you're gonna need really, on the front to help you out. Menu key brings up other options such as uh, if you're in the browser and you wanna open up a new window, or if you wanna check your bookmarks or see what windows you have open, press the menu key. Let's say you wanna go back to your home screen, uh, you're at an application or you're browsing the internet, or you want to turn your phone from standby to on, just press the home key. Back button does what it says, go back to a previous page. Search key does what it says, press the button, a search bar will pop up and uh, it will take you to google.com and you can search to your heart's content on whatever you would love to watch. The back of the phone looks like this. It's got a nice rubbery kind of feel to it. It's kind of hard to explain how it feels. And there's the Motorola logo emblem right there. Speaker right here, camera lens right there. Top button turns the phone on, off, or from standby. As you can see right here, there is a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So standard headphones will work with this phone. You don't have to go out and buy some third-party proprietary headphone. Any regular set of headphones will do. Thank the Lord. On this side, this shiny little red key here, right there, yep. That's the photo key. Whether you want to start recording video or take some photos, just press this key. On the other side, you have a micro USB slot, which I will get to in a second or two. And uh, you have a mini HDMI port. If you have a mini HDMI cable, one end goes there, other end goes into your television. This will allow you to watch HD video that you've recorded yourself on your phone onto your television, which is a really cool feature. Now, uh, let me show you the battery. All you gotta do is take this little case right here, slide it down, and pull this little part back before I break the phone. Oh God, oh God, okay. There's the battery, and right next to it, upside down, is the pre-installed 16 gigabyte micro SD memory unit. Holds a lot of space. Uh, it's nice that they put that in there. Okay, that's basically the outside of the phone. Now let's turn this puppy on. I don't know why I said that. Anyway, there's the button right on top. Press this little buddy. Bam! The phone is on. To unlock the phone, drag this little lock right here to the side. Swipe it, and there's my home screen. Now, I won't get too in-depth with the home screen. I want to make this nice and short, talk about the key features. As you can see, the touch screen is very, 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 very responsive. I love it. Check that out. Very smooth, very little lag. There is no lag, really, but occasionally, I will let you guys know, my phone, when I turn it on from standby, occasionally the screen will lock up and I can't do anything. Lasts for sometimes 20 seconds, then it fixes itself. I'm not sure if that's a serious problem or not, just wanna let you guys know. Now, as you can see up here is the little menu screen. Drag this down, any little updates that you have will appear there. As you can see, I have Wi-Fi on. So let's talk about the Wi-Fi real quick. To activate that, there are two ways you can do it. I'm just gonna show you one very simple way. Start from your home screen. Swipe two spaces to the right, and as you can see here, you have some switches. You have your Wi-Fi switch. You also have a Bluetooth switch, an airplane mode switch, GPS switch for quick activation, which is really nice. Now, uh, speaking of Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi will suck up your battery life very quickly. And speaking of battery life, there are three settings to your battery life, which I will show you how to get to. Just press this little arrow down here. It will take you to all of your applications, and all you do is scroll down to the bottom until you find settings right there. 
press your settings button. Uh, I'm already towards there, so you just scroll all the way to the bottom, you will find battery manager. Hit battery manager, you can even see a little usage bar of what's taking up most of your battery, which mine is the display. So I'm going to head back and go to battery profile. There are three settings. I leave mine on battery saver mode all the time. The battery lasts a lot longer that way, and I don't have to charge it every day because of it. You want to keep it on battery saver mode to make your battery last and make it last worthwhile because if you're going to have Wi-Fi on all the time, it's going to suck up some juice very quickly. Now, speaking of juice and batteries, with the phone being completely dead, yes, I did manage to run the battery out. It took a little over two hours to fully charge all the way. Now, speaking of charging, let me show you the little charger adapter here. Here, you have the charger head. Plug straight into a wall, very nice, simple, and handy. Here is your micro USB cable. This is the end that plugs into your phone right there. And this end actually goes into the charger head. As you can see, there is a USB port in there. Plug that in, you can plug it into a wall, or you can unplug this, plug this end into a computer, and you can transfer videos and pictures. Very simple. You can sync music as well. Not a pain in the ass at all. You just plug these ends into the phone, one end into, into the computer, and you can instantly sync up video and drag and drop. Uh, all that good stuff right there. Now, if you're gonna be using Wi-Fi, uh, it's very helpful for YouTube videos. If you're gonna use the standard cell phone connection to watch YouTube videos, loading them up in high quality is going to take you some time. So I recommend that you use Wi-Fi every time you're on YouTube. And as you can see right here, I've navigated from the browser to my YouTube page, which is pretty simple to do. Just hit the menu key and hit new window, and it will take you to the Google search bar. And uh, you can search any website you want, and it will take you directly to it. But uh, watching YouTube videos is actually very easy, very simple, very, very easy to navigate. As you can see up top is the search bar. Search whatever video you want to watch. And you actually have two options when wanting to watch a YouTube video. As you can see here, just hit the play button. Two will pop up, browser or YouTube. As of now, you cannot watch Flash videos or go to Flash websites on your phone. Froyo 2.2, the new Android update, which is supposed to be coming for the Droid X in September, allows you to do those features. But for now, you're going to want to just watch straight from the YouTube application itself. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's me and Kirschbaum on our YouTube page. Check it out. Uh, I can sit here and watch this all day. It's so amazing. Look at us. We're on the phone. I can't believe it. Watching us on this beautiful, wonderful touch screen. It's, it's amazing. Look at that. You guys should check out our page. It's very, very entertaining. I could watch this all day. Now, that's basically everything, except for the keyboard, which I'll show you a little bit real quick. As you can see there, you have your portrait version of the keyboard. Works just right. And you have your landscape version. Getting used to this keyboard will take you some time. When you first start out, you're going to mess up, you're going to misspell, and you're going to mistype things. It's inevitable. It's a touch screen. Once you get the hang of it, it is no problem. Although it will auto-correct some words for you, which can get a little bit annoying and become a pain in the ass. Uh, for instance, I typed in hell, and uh, it corrected it to heal. It can get a little aggravating, can get a little annoying, but other than that, uh, once you get used to this keyboard, it's not a problem. It also has voice detection, so if you feel lazy and don't want to type, you can always use your voice, which I can show you really quick. I love balls. And right there popped up, I love balls. Now there is another version of the keyboard that you can use. I'm not gonna show you. It's called the swipe keyboard. Essentially what you do is you take your key and you swipe from key to key to spell. I think it's kind of silly and kind of stupid. Not very worthwhile. You're probably gonna wanna stick to the regular keyboard itself. Now uh, in terms of video quality, this phone is capable of HD 720p, uh, video. Well lit areas look nice. The camera itself is not super amazing for HD video. Uh, for taking photos, of course, nice well lit areas will look great, but the HD video and the photos actually have the same problem. If you're in very low light, pictures can look kind of crappy and grainy. Video can look kind of crappy and grainy, but there are a couple of settings that you can use to switch for HD video and for photos. I, I myself like to stick to the 6 megapixel widescreen photo uh, for the photo capabilities instead of using just full screen 8 megapixel. And uh, other than that, that's the phone in a nutshell. If you guys want to know about the applications and the widgets, let me know. Uh, if I happen to not talk about something that you want to know about when it comes to this phone, drop by and leave a comment, let me know, and I will probably make another video going in depth with some of the applications and the widgets and some other features on the phone. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. I am Curious Corduroy. Uh, subscribe if you think Mel Gibson is crazy and his ex-wife or girlfriend Oksana is a gold digger. Subscribe if you believe that. I will see you guys later and uh, I'm gonna go beat up Mel Gibson right now because he's a jerk. Ah!